Hello everyone, Legendary Legend here, welcome to a new video, and today I am going to be reviewing Transformers Power of the Primes Moon Racer. And well, here she is, and yes, for those of you who don't know, um, this is a female Transformer, and um, that's actually why I got her, because um, for those of you who don't know, female Transformers are kind of a rarity, well not kind of, they are a rarity, and so... As a Transformer fan, I kind of felt like I had to get one, you know, so, um, yeah, I did get one, so, um, here she is, and this is from the latest and last series, and, um, the Prime Wars trilogy, which is Power of the Primes, and so this weapon here is a Prime Master armor, that's what it's called. We'll do that a little bit later, but um, let's take a quick look at the mold. So, head has some nice sculpting. No, yeah. kind of a somewhat aerodynamic design. And her limbs are very circular, like here, you know, it's kind of a pretty circular design compared to um, what I've usually seen, you know, kind of circular here, and a waist here that is thinner, she is um, skinnier than most other transaction figures. This part is only wide because she, um, has a big backpack from her vehicle mode and um yeah legs are thighs are replaying legs lower leg like shins have her molding some purple there And um, right now my camera monitor, she looks more blue than she does in my hands. Like on my hands she looks more green. But she's like a teal color, I think. Or is it turquoise? I don't really know what turquoise is, but it could be turquoise. I don't know, but kind of a Bluish greenish, bluish green design. Definitely, yeah, yeah, bluish greenish. But um, yeah, color scheme, bluish greenish with white and a little bit of. Is that purple or is it like it's like pinkish purple, kind of. Like either a pale purple or like a deep pink. So yeah, pink is purplish. That's it for mold. For articulation, the head is on a bulge, but it is limited. I would not recommend. Um, oh wait, no, oh, the 60. Reason I was saying um, I would recommend going further than this was because. This is actually the second time I'm recording this video. First time I tried doing this, her head came off. Yeah, I guess you can do a 360. Yes, I had it farther back, so it kind of bumped into this. Yeah, and her neck is on a hinge joint, so go forward and back. Do that if you want. You can look up. That's the farthest you can look up. Lowest you can look down. Pretty good. The shoulder is on a bow joint, however, it is limited. The or like elbows are on a ball joint that are less limited. Sorry that the figure is kind of going out of camera. I'm not really. I'm paying more attention to the figure itself than my own camera monitor. Um, hips are on a ball joint, so got like it move, moves out that far. Moves back that far. Moves out this far. Um, 
there is a um what's it called swivel at the thigh no where it is a swivel console i've never seen before as you can see it kind of wraps around this ball that is entirely new but i think i may have seen it like figures with that like on youtube or something but never in real life i have no idea how this is working that's probably something that goes in there but i have no idea knee um 90 degrees there's another joint here though i don't know if that's for one of our other modes but i'm sorry i'm just hiccuping right now for some reason but um you can get full knee bend if you want to use the other joints but that's that i don't know if you are part of a look or not but your option Feet have an ankle tilt and can go back and do that or that. Oh, this upward motion is probably more for transformation. Also, hands can move in and out. However, that is likely for more for transformation than to get this figure articulation. Can we fly? So size comparison here is um I forgot his name I can't believe this uh metal hawk sorry about that here's metal hawk and taking vector prime out here she is next to a vector prime you get a sense of scale and now speaking of vector prime the kind of gimmick for this line is that you can take the Prime Masters and add them to these figures. So, whoops. Did you just, I added like this. I'm gonna take this peg, put it up. Take this chip thing out. I don't know what it's for, but I just dropped it. I know it was just kind of to fill this up. And that, but pull the Prime Master up, take this little bit, and um, it just goes in there. And there you go, Prime Armor complete. And there are these swap things here, there are tabs here, they just go in. It's a little tricky to, oops, it's a little tricky to get it on. But once you do, you should be good. Okay. And there you go. Prime Master on. And yeah, and the Prime, the Prime Armor just gives her the power of the Prime. So, she can now time travel. And so, I'll take a while to pause her showing you guys first as her holding Vector Prime in his gun mode. So, transforming him real quick. Can't hold them. Little, I get it in because tightness. What? No, you get it in. The gun should need two hands, but her other hand has this small gun that is hers. Speaking of which, I don't know what kind. Looks somewhat like a sniper rifle, but also more maybe like a handgun. If you have an idea, please let me know. Although it is entirely possible that this is just a Cybertronian gun. So on. That's that. So anyway, on to transformation. First, what you want to do is 
put the feet together, hold them up like that. Well, I almost forgot to mention there's a waist joint here. And what up here that is, let me draw like this part and then like that. You can do that. Well, that's part more for, that's part of for transformation. So. Turn it here, unplug this, take it down, whoops, and that will tab in, turn here, take upper half up, forward head, head back in, step back down, fold hands in, and then it's gonna them around like that. Like so, and these white pieces will fold up and just tab in. And here you have the vehicle mode. Whoops. And so yeah, it's a lawn car, Cybertronian car. I did some of there like was on her chest. Got some highlight or um headlights painted in yellow. Port there, which you will see the purpose for later. And yeah. Robot mode, um. Hides okay. Yes. Yeah, um. The only thing you can do is you can actually add the primer to it, like. Do this. I think you just leave it like this. Maybe like here. And that and then like that and maybe like that. Think um let me check the instructions. See if I have those white pieces the right way. Um, okay, actually the white pieces I think go like this. And so you can add that if you want, maybe like a thruster. I just kind of like to leave it out. I got right like that, like that, like this, maybe like that, probably. This, yeah, rolls. And yeah, that is the car mode. What is under the woods? These like tabs getting in the way. Number four. But yeah, so um. Anyway. Um. The figures like this can um combine in this series. So, um, first off, the arm mode, what you want to do is untap these white pieces, turn this like that, take these arm pieces, move them up, and these ends so that, um, so we can see it. But, um, kind of like a T so that, you know, um, There, so like that. And then over here, do the same. Sorry about that, my um, camera apparently ran out of space. I say the quotations because there is a lot of space. It can hold a lot. But um, anyway, now that I'm done um, 
angrily messing around, angrily taking care of my technology problem right now. Um, you have the name here and Power of the Primes. Of course, Hasbro, because need to tell people that you know not to copy and stuff. And then you have that um, again art from the box of this guy. This guy. But yeah, um, on the back you have this sub, just product image. It is um, Prime Armor. You know, have different Prime Masters here. Yeah, the recommended combination, which would be Alchemist Prime. Oh, I thought it was um, Alpha Triumph. Oh, wait, no, that's just another thing. Here is the very short bio, just in different languages. It says, how would the joyful Idolot sharpshooter wield the power of the primes? I don't know, Moonracer. All this stuff. You know, I don't have any of these guys. And again, I was talking about um these. There you have the recommended combiner. And yeah. That's it for the box. And you have the collector's card we'll put the box to the set now here is the collector's card that comes with with the symbol of the recommended prime same kind of art you know this is Ben that's not supposed to who's touching this or did it come like that no it didn't come what happened never mind anyway um there's the recommended thing for Tri Moon Racer and it says what she does and that translates the covenant of Primus for Cybertron and Youth there's the symbol again, power of the primes, transformers, and yeah, um, I guess that's it for this review. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I believe that's it. So, um, goodbye.